It's finally time. The Sea of Ink's very first season begins today. It's titled Misery Empire and includes a new agent, a new mechanic, the first catalog, tons of patch notes, and redacted? There could be a major change I don't know about while editing this video, but by the time you're watching this, I'm sure we'll know. Hi, future me. Hope you're having fun. Let's start with what we're all here for. A new agent. This is our first new character since launch, and she's Red, the Treacherous Seductress. She's listed as a scoundrel type agent utilizing a new status effect called Charmed. When Charmed, spies are sent back into cover, are slowed and unable to use their expertise. If they try and fire their weapon, they become heartbroken, which removes the charm effect but makes you vulnerable, taking increased damage for a limited time. You can also remove the charm effect if you take damage from an outside source without leaving yourself vulnerable. This is such an interesting dilemma because it's a catch-22. If you become charmed, you can't shoot without making yourself vulnerable, but Red can't shoot you without curing the debuff. My guess is this will primarily be used on unaware players who will reflexively just shoot through the debuff anyway and find themselves heartbroken, especially in team play. However, this definitely seems viable as a panic button to escape a 1v1, reload, or heal. Next is the new heat system, which will hopefully solve the Sea biggest issue, constant deathmatching. I'm sure many of you have been in a match where like 50% or more of the lobby just die straight away. Now you have a heat bar, which increases with every innocent NPC you kill. It's divided into three levels with more severe punishments as it increases. Level one makes you 30% more vulnerable to damage for 12 seconds. Level two, 50% for 15 seconds. And at level three, you've gone rogue, taking 100% more damage for 20 seconds and cannot go back into cover for the duration. Heat naturally lowers over time. You don't take heat for killing guards, but you do get an entire bar of heat for killing a VIP. This is going to change the whole gameplay loop, and I'm super excited to see how it plays. Be sure to check out the stream over at twitch.tv slash blurbs if you want to see all of the new content. With Season 1, we'll also be seeing the very first Battle Pass coming to Deceive Inc., which are called Catalogs, and have a free version as well as a premium version. Season 1's will be noir themed and you purchase cosmetics from the past using tokens that you earn just by playing the game. There are 10 pages of content and you need to unlock 3 out of 5 items to progress to the next page. Premium catalogs never expire and can be purchased at any time to earn the rewards. Now there are piles of patch notes to comb through and I'm not going to go through all of them but I'm just going to give you the main highlights. Here we go. Teams now share intel pools to slow down team play and encourage strategy. Each team player can now be revived three times, but will have less maximum health with each revive. Rooms containing a vault terminal will now never contain a purple buff, nor purple or orange key cards. Purple rooms missing a terminal will have a guaranteed purple or orange key card, as well as a purple buff. Vault terminal rooms will now give an alert when two or more rival agents are in the room together. The amount of control when in midair has been reduced to prevent air strafing. Solo matches now give 30% more XP. Limb shots are now only considered lower body, while arms are now considered body shots. Vertical audio has improved, thank God. Gadgets can now be thrown further. The briefcase scan no longer shows the NPC cover of rivals, but finally shows players hiding as a prop, as a crouched player. The briefcase scan also has a minimum cost of one intel, so you can no longer spam it. The account level cap has been raised from 200 to 300. Training range dummies now show damage numbers, melee fixes, and field upgrade adjustments. Lastly, they did a pass on agent balancing. I'm just going to say buffed or nerfed. You can look into it more yourself. But Squire has been nerfed, Ace buffed, Chavez nerfed, Larson buffed, and he can spy check with his third passive again. Madam Shu buffed, Hans buffed, Cavalier nerfed, and Yumi nerfed. Okay, I think that's most of it, y'all. I really feel like this patch is going to change the Sea Vink a ton and for the better. I'll see you all today on stream and expect to be charmed by our new Agent Red because you can bet you're going to see her filling up every single lobby. Thanks for watching, everyone.